Duchess of York this weekend, uh, announcing she's been diagnosed with skin cancer following the removal of a cancerous mole during treatment for breast cancer. Her spokesman said she had several moles removed and analysed during reconstructive surgery after her mastectomy last year. She is now the third royal to announce a medical procedure in the past week. In the studio with us, our royal editor, Sarah Hewson, is here. Um, Sarah, what have we learned about uh, the Duchess of York? Well, this is really bad news, distressing news for the Duchess of York. Just six months after she revealed she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent a mastectomy uh, for that, it has now been revealed that she is suffering from malignant melanoma, the most aggressive form of skin cancer, as you described. Uh, several moles were removed during reconstructive surgery following her mastectomy. They were tested. One of them, it has been <clears throat> revealed, uh, was melanoma. She was told the news just after Christmas. Now, we last saw her on Christmas Day at Sandringham, walking to church with other members of the royal family. Shortly after that, uh, she was told that she had malignant <clears throat> melanoma. She's currently at a clinic in Austria where she is recuperating. There are going to be further tests uh, done to detect whether or not uh, the cancer has spread. She's said to be in good spirits, uh, nonetheless, but uh, very difficult news coming just so soon after I said, her treatment for breast cancer. Sarah, thank you for coming in. I said about um, Fergie, um, the rehabilitation's been quite interesting. It's almost Camilla-like. Um, there she was at Sandring at Christmas. I know that the royal family, we've talked about this privately, <clears throat> despite their feelings about Andrew, and we all have those feelings, are quite grateful that she's about to keep him on the straight and narrow and keep an eye on him. Um, and she was invited to Sandringham. And this, I think, we were saying earlier, is a, another example of open and honesty from a monarchy, which makes a massive difference because people listen and they go and get checked, right? Like the prostate last night. And that's last exactly week. what she said, is that I hope that this news will encourage other people yeah. to go and get their skin checked. She did the same when she had her breast cancer diagnosis. Course, now, yeah. that was caught early uh, because she went for regular screening. And she's talked very much about the importance of breast screening, going and having your mammograms uh, and making sure you don't miss those appointments. She talked about the fact she nearly didn't go uh, because she was so busy and she did and it was picked up early and therefore that meant her prognosis was good. And again, she's talking about this and as you say, Jeremy, because we had the King last week talking mm -hmm. about his uh, prostate uh, diagnosis, hoping that when these Big public figures come out and speak about it. It, it does have a massive impact. I mean, you look at the NHS page for prostate enlargement. It, it was up by was, a thousand percent yeah, in terms I of was, hits. I was last saying week. about Jay Goody when the poor girl lost her life to, to cervical cancer. It was it completely changed the whole screening process. So that particularly in young women, <clears throat> yeah, wouldn't which necessarily is a, have sought help. Which is a, which is a good thing. Um, I hate to move it on to Prince Harry, but we have to. Okay, do. Do um, talk about the libel case? What is wrong with this stupid idiot? They, I'm sorry, they never get it right. 750 grand, we've got to court, we're dropping the case, which means that everybody's going to say, you weren't telling the truth, what are you on about, man? You've done it again. Yeah, this is the it's libel case great. against the Mail on Sunday, and this was relating to an article in 2022 yeah. uh, in which <clears throat> uh, Harry and his team took exception to the headline. It was about his uh, case against the Home Office with security, and the suggestion in the Mail article was that his PR had spun it uh, for his own gain, and he said that was libelous. Uh, in December, he lost the first stage of this. He was trying to have the male's defence of honest opinions struck out, mm. and the judge said, no, they've got a, a real chance of arguing at that defence. And then on the day, on Friday, on the day they were due to hand over documents in disclosure, uh, they pulled out and he dropped the case. Now, he said it is because he wants to focus on the safety of his family and his legal challenge against the Home Office rather than fighting, as they described it, years-old battles uh, with the Mail uh, newspaper. Um, but I think there was probably some strong advice from his legal team that of all of the cases he's got, and there are several yeah. underway, this one he perhaps didn't have the best chance in and he's picking his battles. Sarah, thank it's not you so much. Not great advice, though, is it that he gets? Bless him. It, it, it isn't, is it? Because he just—I I don't know. It's just people will spend the next time going. Well, you were obviously lying. Well, he talked about this mission yeah. uh, to reshape the media in this country. I don't think he would have wanted to be pulling out no. of any of those. Cases. Not going too well, then, is it? Uh,